Hello, my name is Sans Ritchie. I'm the Territory Sales Manager for Amprobe. I've been working in the field of test and measurement for 26 years. Here we have the Amprobe ACD41PQ. This is part of the power quality clamp meter family of Amprobe. When we're working with normal clamp meters, we can read the voltage or we can read the current. When we get into a power or power quality clamp, now we can multiply current times voltage and get the power. So here we have a device. This one is looking for if you have a lot of distortion or if you have to measure the amount of distortion that you have on your current or voltage lines. One of the things that when we, as we introduce more and more electronic loads such as computers, variable speed drives, energy efficient lighting, we start introducing harmonics into the power system and having a measurement of total harmonic distortion can help us troubleshoot if these are the things that are causing problems within our building. So here we're looking at the ACD41 PQ and we're showing it in the current mode where we have both the current measurement but we also have this total harmonic distortion percent. So here I have a linear load where I have zero total harmonic distortion. I'm going to switch this to a nonlinear load and show you how you can measure if there's harmonic distortion. So here I have it hooked up to a just a regular dimmer switch that clips the current waveform introducing harmonic distortion and now we have the 8.96 amps but instead of having zero harmonic distortion, we have 11% total harmonic distortion. Those, so this meter can give you an indication if you have harmonics on your line. So when we're using a, a power clamp versus a regular clamp meter, now we can measure both the voltage and the current at the same time, multiply them together and get the watts. So here we have 699.2 watts, but what's also interesting is we have a power factor of 0.51. What power factor is, is the amount of skew or the, the phase angle difference between your current and your voltage. Um, sounds very confusing. We like to, to talk about it as the beer factor. When you have a glass of beer or a glass of soda, if you, you're paying for the whole glass. So if the glass is filled with all soda, you're happy, you're getting your money's worth. But if the glass is filled of half beer and half foam, in that case, you're really not getting what you're paying for. So the power factor is an indication of how much foam, which is your VARs, and how much watts, which is your true power, versus your volt amps, which in this case is a higher value. So here I've changed the display from showing us watts to showing us volts amps, which is just volts times amps. When we have a poor power factor, our volts amps are going to be much higher than our true watts that we're using. In the last display you saw that we had 699 watts and here we have 1062 volt amps and the reason for that large difference is because we have a very low power factor. And as I mentioned, the, the lower your power factor, the more foam you have and the less liquid you have in the glass. With a power factor of 1, you'll have all liquid, no foam. With a power factor of 0.5, you'll have half a glass of liquid and half a glass of foam. So here we have 0.64, so we only have about 64% of our glass is going to be filled with liquid. The foam is your wasted power. So by correcting this power factor, we can get those two numbers to be very close to one another. So now I've switched in a power correction capacitor and instead of 1,064 volt amps, we now have 847 volt amps and our power factor has gone up from 0.64 to 0.86. We're still not where we want to be, but you can see how the volt amps is getting much closer to the 699 watts of true power that we have pulling through this circuit. The Amprobe ACD41PQ and this gives us the ability to measure volt amps continuity. We can even measure temperature. In addition, we can measure power. And on the power, we can measure the watts, the volts amps, and the VARs, which are the volt amps reactives. And we can also see the percent of harmonic distortion and measure our power factor, all with one simple to use meter. For more information, please contact your T-Equipment Test and Measurement Specialist.